and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Lord Jesus, you came to call sinners. Lord have mercy. Lord, Lord have, have mercy. mercy. Christ Jesus, you came to heal the contrite of heart. Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord Jesus, you pray for us at the right hand of the Father. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. And may Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to our everlasting life. who in the abasement of your Son have raised up a fallen world. Fill your faithful with holy joy. On those you have rescued from slavery to sin, you bestow eternal gladness. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. Thank you. 
they to whom I am sending you. But you shall say to them, Thus says the Lord God. And whether they heed or resist, for they are a rebellious house, they shall know that a prophet has been among them. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God.
When the Sabbath came, he began to teach in the synagogue. And many who heard him were astonished. They said, where did this man get all this? What kind of wisdom has been given him? What mighty deeds are wrought by his hands? Is he not the carpenter, the son of Mary, and the brother of James and Joseph and Judas and Simon? Are not his sisters with us? And they took offense at him. Jesus said to them, A prophet is not without honor, except in his native place, and among his own kin, and in his own house. So he was not able to perform any mighty deed there, apart from curing a few sick people by laying his hands on them. He was amazed at their lack of Gospel of the Lord. Praise you, Lord Jesus Christ. Good afternoon. Everything will 
be okay. So that's why even even when Ezekiel got there, knowing that he go he, he will face the problems that people don't listen to him, reject him, and don't don't pay attention to what he's gonna say. But at the end, God told him, let them know that I'm still in charge in their lives. Let them know that I'm still in their midst. Then let's let's jump to the second reading of of Paul to the Corinthians. Paul even acknowledged that even though he he, is, he was called with the special revelation, but he acknowledged his weakness and his limitations. So therefore he said, I'll be rejected, I'll be going through rough and tough, but at the end, his grace is sufficient enough for me. And then jump to the gospel today. Jesus coming back home. It's a feeling that when you go back home, it's nothing like home, amen? amen. When you go back home, oh man, I can I can wait to go back to Indonesia, yeah? It's nothing like home when you go when, when you go back home because people are excited to see you and what you're gonna to bring to them and what, what gift that you're gonna to bring to them. But to, today's gospel is so completely different. When Jesus is coming back home to his own kingfolk, so his own uh, first or second or third cousins and his friends, what happened to him? Come on, church, what happened to him? They rejected, they re they rejected him. Why? Because they saw Jesus through the eyes of his limitations and his weakness. When you see people through the eyes of weakness and limitation, no matter what they're going to say, it doesn't make sense for you. Amen? Amen. If you don't like that person, no matter what that person is going to say, it doesn't make sense at all. <laughs> that's, that's why at the end, at the end, Jesus did not do anything. Miracle, miracles that he performed in different places, just a little bit. Because what? The lack of faith. Because they saw Jesus with the eyes, through the eyes of his weaknesses and his limitations, the church. In somehow, somewhere, we are not perfect. Amen? We have our own weakness and limitations. A couple weeks ago, in closing a couple weeks ago, uh, I admired one of my mentors so dearly. I came to the state for my training back in 1995 and as a seminarian, and I stayed with him. He just retired this year recently at Bay St. Louis. And uh, one week after Saturday Mass, uh, I asked him, I said, Father, would you mind go with me for dinner? And he said, I'm glad to, to accompany you for dinner. So when we got there at the restaurant, and I asked him, I said, Father, most of our, our ministry sometimes, no matter the best you do in our in your ministry, there will be not enough for somebody out there. Amen. Amen. In the marriage life, in whatever you do, no matter the best you try to the best of your ability, there won't be enough for some some people out there. And I told him I told him that 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 that, that story. I said, sometimes in my ministry I got to the point of frustrating. Because no matter what you do, people will say, that's not enough. But then he turned to me and I asked for his advice. What, what, could, what, what is your advice if, if, if I do have that problem and how, and how do I face that problem? And he turned to me and said, Father Augustinus, it's so simple. I was like, okay. And he asked me the question, how many, how many men Jesus when he started his, his first church? And I said, he started with the 12. And the next question said, well, from the 12, did he get everybody on his side? Come on, church. From all the 12, did he get everybody at his side? No. He said, no. And then the next question, what in the world that you're trying to make yourself up to that everybody will like you? Even Jesus himself, like today, he goes back to his own, own village, people still don't like him. No, they heard about what he did, they heard about the healing that took place, they heard about how, how many people he fed. But still in his own king folks, 
in his own countrymen. They rejected him. So what makes you so special that people will love you, everybody will love you? Church, that is what we call our limitations and our weaknesses. But this is, this is what, what, what makes us special in this one. When you acknowledge your limit, limitations and your weakness, then you, 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 you know that you need somebody in your life. When you know that you can, like this, uh, like yesterday, me and Deacon, as Deacon would you mind help me out to go find the uh, sun pass, is that right, Deacon? Sun pass, because I don't want to get in trouble driving to the. And I don't know everything here, so I asked Deacon, would you mind? I know my limitation, I know my weakness. So, therefore, one, one I realized that this is my limi limitation, this is my weakness. That means I need somebody to fill in, amen? amen. But if you don't acknowledge that, you have a limitation, you have, you have a weakness, then you, you, know, you don't need somebody. And most of them might be you don't need God in your life. Church, in order to, to cope our limitations, first one is to acknowledge that we are weakness. Like Paul said, when I acknowledge that I'm weak, then I'm what? I'm strong. Okay. When you acknowledge that you, you, you don't know everything, then you allow God to come into your lives. Church, life is not perfect. But God through His grace, God through His grace, enable you and I in His ministry. God doesn't call the perfect one and the holy one in His ministry. But through His grace, He makes you and I holy enough perfect enough in his ministry. I'm coming from Indonesia. You might have have a higher expectation on me. But I'm like I'm, I'm like Ezekiel and Paul. I have my weakness and my limitations. No matter the quarterback, the best quarterback you have in a team, he needs what? He needs a running back and receiver. And defense, amen? amen. It is about the team to win, amen. Yes. So the church is not about Father Augustine's at Saint Peter. It's about you and me. With the grace of God, we will persevere. So I'm here to serve you and to serve with you as a team, like a football. No matter, no matter the, the best quarterback you have, but if you don't have the good receiver. And running back and defense. You won't win that game. But if you come as a team, to play as a team, when with the grace of God, we will win the game. At the end, because at the end, we are here in this world to serve the same God. Amen? Amen. Because at the end, we would like to go in the same boat and to the same destination. So I'm here again with my own limitation and my weakness, but I always try the best I could to the best of my ability as a missionary, as an SVD, to serve the people that the Lord has entrusted to me. So thank you for welcoming me, and I'm here to be with you and to work with you. Amen. 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 Amen.
standing in the Lord's presence, we place our trust in God as we call to mind our needs and the needs of the world. For the church, that we may be a consistent witness to the world of our faith as we fight for truth, peace, and justice in our communities and our nation. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our country on this anniversary of its independence, that it may truly live up to it the values on which it was founded, establishing justice for all, promoting the general welfare, and securing liberty for generations to come. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. For an end to violence in our cities, towns, and neighborhoods, that the drive for revenge and retribution may be inhibited and alternatives chosen to settle disagreements. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. For all who travel this summer, that they may find rest and refreshment and return safely home. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our parish, that we may be inspired to work in support of those who are not able to enjoy the full fruits of our country's promise of liberty and justice due to social, economic, or racial circumstances. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. And for the intention of this Mass, which is for the memory of Mentoy Patricia Satan, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. And for the prayer request that we received this week from Fluffner, for the sick, Andrew Freeman, Angelo F. Limehouse, Annette Kangle, Barbara Moore, Carl Warren, Eula Lee Brown, Evelio Penmaker, Maxine Bowden, Terence Simmons, Alicia Black, Dorothy Snee, Bernadette Guillory, Danetta Duncan, Roland Carrington, Kevin Coney, Neville Evans, Mulbert Scrivens, Loette Cupid, Delia Silla, and Neville Evans. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. For all the prayers that we hold in the silence of our hearts. For all our intentions, spoken and unspoken, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. Heavenly Lord, you inspire us to build up communities, nations, and the whole human race with the ideals that would bring us closer to you. May the Holy Spirit work through us to continually make these ideals real in our relationship with each other within and across borders. And we ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated.
brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May this oblation dedicated to your name purify us, O Lord, and day by day bring our conduct closer to the light of heaven. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your Lift up your hearts. Up Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is, right and just. it is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For we know it belongs to your boundless glory that you came to the aid of mortal beings with your divinity, and even passion for us to remain out of mortality itself, that the cause of our downfall might become the means of our salvation through Christ our Lord. Amen. Through him the host of angels adores your majesty and rejoices in your presence forever. May our voices we pray join with theirs in one chorus of exultant praise as we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and gave him thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ending, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be brought for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, and Gregory, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of their resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be coerced to eternal life, and we praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, for my dear Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and form by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give 
us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us deliver us lord we pray from every evil graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, Amen. the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer it to the sign of peace. Peace be with you all. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, have mercy. Be gentle and kind. And all is heaven where I am so afraid. In the body and blood of Christ, keep us safe for eternal life.
us. Uh, many thank yous to those that help us uh, put on this mess. Um, wonderful music, uh, greeters. Yvonne, who does about pretty much about everything, and she's even convinced her husband now to help. I mean, can you get uh, better than that? Uh, and um, Sylvia, who, who came and set up and left, and, and uh, a wonderful lecturers. Um, this is a family here, and, and we're so happy to, to have you come and be part of this. And, and now that we're plus one, we've got uh, Father uh, Augustinus. We have a pastor. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> certainly like to welcome him. And, and tomorrow we're going to have a kind of a, an informal welcoming, just a meet and greet uh, after the, the uh, 10 o'clock mass in the morning. In the social hall, we've got some finger foods and and uh, some light refreshments, uh, and of course, Sylvia's coffee. And, um, and just an opportunity to, to, to meet him face to face, and shake his hand, and look him in the eye, and, and uh, measure the, the, the kind of man he is. And I'm sure you will be satisfied. I'm just uh, as tickled as I can be. And uh, then we will uh, adjourn for the day. So God bless you all, and hope to see you there. Thank you. Thanks to the